In this video, you're going to see how to create a month and year grouping on a full date field in an Excel pivot table. We'll also see how to sort this field first by year and second by month, as well as add a slicer to view the totals by a single year at a time. In this example, we have a data set of sales records for six sales associates who made sales on various dates between 2023 and 2024. We want to create a pivot table that groups these sales dates by month and year and then totals the sales amount field by this grouping. Before we begin, make sure Power Pivot is enabled. To do this, go to File and select Options. In the dialog box that appears, click on Add-ins. In the drop-down list at the bottom, select Com Add-ins and click Go. In the next dialog window, make sure to check the box next to Microsoft Power Pivot for Excel and click OK. Next. Click anywhere in your data set. Then go up to the Power Pivot ribbon and click Add to Data Model. In the Create Table window that appears, click OK. This adds our table to the Power Pivot Data Model. We'll change our table name at the bottom from the table number to Sales. Next, we'll format our Sales Amount column in an accounting style. Then we'll format our Sales Date column in a Month Day Year format. With the Date column still selected, Go to the Design ribbon at the top. Go to the Date Table drop-down and select New. This automatically creates a date table in our model called Calendar. This calendar table contains different types of date groupings that we can use to summarize our pivot table by. We'll begin by deleting the fields that we don't need. The month and year field was automatically created under this calendar table, but we need to add a helper column to sort it by month and year order since it's mixed text and numbers. We'll name this field sort column. In the first cell, enter equals and start typing the word calendar to see the fields in the calendar table. Select the year field and multiply it by 12 to convert it to months. After that, add this product to the month number field and hit enter. This creates a numeric number column that we can use to sort our month year field first by year and second by month number. Now select your month year date field, go to the home ribbon, and select sort by column. In the drop down on the right side, select the sort column we just created and click OK. When our pivot table gets created, our month year field will be sorted by our sort field. Next, go to the diagram view at the top right. Here we need to link our date table to our sales table. To do this, Drag the sales date field to the month day year field of our calendar table. Now we're ready to add our pivot table. Under the home ribbon, select pivot table from the pivot table drop down list. We'll add this to a new sheet. For our row labels, we'll use the month year field from our calendar table. For our columns, we'll add the field containing our sales rep names from the sales table. Following that, we'll add our sales amount field to our values section. Our output is now grouped and sorted by month and year. Next, we'll add a slicer based on our calendar table year field to select a year at a time. Click anywhere inside the pivot table, go to the pivot table analyze ribbon at the top and select insert slicer. Select year from the calendar table and click OK. We now have a slicer control that allows us to filter by year. Now we'll add a second slicer by region. Click inside the pivot table, go to the pivot table analyze ribbon and select insert slicer. Select the region field from the sales table and click OK. We now have a second slicer to filter by a specific sales region. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.